Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly reading for August 7th to the 13th. This is for Gemini Sun and Rising. And if you're new to my channel, I do a traditional cult across spread. I also use astrology and my guides to help bring a lot more clarity to get more specific and detailed with your reading, Gemini. I do this because you know I love you. I, I do. I want you to feel like it's a personal reading as if we're here one on one, hanging out on my sofa. <laughs> drinking iced teas rather than a general spread so gemini this week uh i love it okay i love it now if you saw your monthly forecast this week is pretty mild there's two aspects that i want to talk about that's going to affect you significantly all right the first is on the ninth so that would be wednesday okay so that is when venus squares uranus so definitely going to be we've already had a couple of these all right these squares uh they're usually uh it you know squares have uh uh, uh reputation but this is actually really great you know I, I said this is a month of breakthroughs of freedom feeling free this is one of those days okay venus remember matters of the heart but it's in your venus is in leo in your third house so it could have to do with some sort of uh communication communicating with other people it could even be uh uh, something that has to do with siblings neighbors aunts cousins uh, or even uh, you may be actually uh, learning something new or writing something uh, there could be something writing related okay uh, there's a, a big thing around that uh, but it really is more about your passions okay uh, relationships as well and this is uh, a kind of an exciting day because the same day Mercury is trining Jupiter okay so this is a very supportive harmonious aspect it's uh a trine is when the the planets are 120 uh degrees uh from each other and it's really really nice mercury the planet of communication your ruling planet trining jupiter the planet of good luck good fortune prosperity really great day this is a day you could uh maybe sign a contract hear good news all right uh there could also be some matters regarding um home uh with your home uh possibly even like some travel related short distance travel uh as well as uh your relationships at home because remember mars is very active right now uh so is mercury okay they're both in virgo in your fourth house all right your domestic sector and so that does rule family children relationships your home okay your your home environment uh and then on the 13th just after that we have the sun conjunct venus now this is a huge kazemi this is one of my favorites uh, uh kazemi basically just think of like uh the planet being at the heart of the sun okay and now why this one is very very uh uh big is because the sun think about the sun this is very fiery think about venus it's very fiery they're both in leo very fiery sign <laughs> so it's a very fiery aspect and this is uh uh definitely going to be some uh activity around uh you know creativity self-expression even you know beauty and love and relationships but this is a a, a big day where you may feel some breakthroughs uh, you just, around this week you may feel some breakthroughs okay there's also something that i didn't mention in the monthly reading but you know something called lion's gate uh it's 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 when the sun uh earth and um sorry Sirius the earth and uh, the Orion constellation it's basically this alignment and the reason why it's called Lionsgate is because when it, it happens when the Sun is in Leo it's been happening for a while and that's why this it's part of this you know when I say everyone's going through some sort of transformation this is really like amping that up okay um, some people just refer to it as 8-8 that's a peak August 8th is the peak of this uh but it will be happening all week so with that said gemini let's go ahead and get started with your reading uh again this is first uh gemini sun and rising a lot of these aspects are going to uh gemini risings you're just going to feel it a lot stronger uh than gemini's but all gemini's will feel it if you want to read for your moon and your venus and all those other placements if you know your birth chart you're absolutely welcome to with venus being very active this week uh especially because venus is retrograde so we're still reassessing uh reevaluating a lot of things in our life uh when it comes to matters of the heart so uh keep that in mind you may want to uh see check it out for your venus but in any case let's go ahead and get started uh gemini let's see what's going on for you for the week of august 7th to the 13th this is for gemini 
Sun and rising. Okay, so Gemini, let's go ahead and get started. Um, Gemini, I do a traditional cultic cross spread. It's what um, I uh, brings a lot of clarity. Uh, I think it has. It is the best spread, in my opinion. If we need to pull clarifiers, we will pull clarifiers. Secondly, Gemini, uh, you're amazing. Thanks so much for being here, y'all. Come on, y'all are amazing. Um, I am a Gemini rising. If you are new to my channel. Uh, which is why I can talk and talk and talk and talk and my readings go so long. So, uh, let's see what's going on for you. You're good. You're absolutely good. You're, uh, 1000% good. Um, let's, uh, there's going to be a moment this week where, uh, it may have to do, well, okay, we'll get to that later, but let's go ahead and get started. You did get the death card. Uh, this is amazing. Came in your past. Okay. So, uh, you are definitely going through some tra transformation. All right. You're definitely going through some transformation. Uh, and it's really good. And I really like this for you. Um, the, you can see in this card, I'm just going to point something out. Uh, because there is a message coming up that there's, uh, some of y'all are, and it really depends on the day that you watch this reading as well, because this is coming up in the past. But there is a sense of some of y'all who uh, some of these changes uh, may be uh, pretty big, okay? But for some Geminis, it'll be really subtle. So I want you to actually think about where that change is happening in your life, okay? It may be something that's uh, really, really, uh, it feels more to me that something's coming to an end. Uh, but uh, you'll, you'll feel it, all right? I want you to ask yourself where you do feel it, okay? For some Geminis, you may feel it more spiritually. You may feel it more emotionally. You may feel it mentally. You may feel it so, you, something in your actual physical world, like you know maybe you're ending a job, starting a new one. Maybe you're ending a job, starting your own company. Uh, maybe you are, uh, uh, you know, maybe uh, having uh, uh, starting a new relationship. But in any case, there is change happening. Okay, change is the only constant in this world. Uh, who is that Greek philosopher? Heraclitus, okay, and it is so true, and you have to be accepting to this change, all right? You can see even in this card, this is uh, one of the best cards in the deck, and you can see, uh, you see the king with his crown knocked off on the ground, laying on the ground there, but you see the bishop in front of, you know, uh, the skeleton in the armor on the horse. You see the wisdom child here. Basically, it's saying, Again, change is the only constant everyone experiences. Everyone goes through it. The king hasn't accepted it, and so that's why his crown is knocked off. You have to be willing to embrace these changes. Uh, but it looks like, again, for me, it feels like something is coming to an end, and you're starting something, uh, and it's almost like a relief for you. Okay? Um, well, also, you did get the Eight of Wands in the Heart of Your Spread, so this is kind of like the theme of the week. And so what I want you to know is that things are going to start moving fast for you. This is uh, uh, this card is ruled by Sagittarius. All right. Mercury and Sagittarius is what it's attributed to. And so the wands, your, again, your passions, ideas, creativity, all of that are, are big, big things that are happening this week, as I explained earlier. But also career. Career is a big thing for y'all. Huge thing for y'all. Especially when you consider Saturn in Pisces right now that moved into your 10th house of career. You're taking career a lot more seriously. A lot of y'all will be taking it a lot more seriously. Really thinking about what do I want to do? What's happening with my career? Um, uh, uh, you know, uh, even like side hustles or, you know, job, your, your job, uh, enterprise. But uh, you can see uh, the reason why I bring up that uh, uh, it's ruled by Sagittarius is Sagittarius is the archer. And so I want you to consider these wands as arrows just zipping through the air. There's a lot of momentum. There's a lot of enthusiasm with this card. It's saying that things are going to things are going to start happening really fast for you if you haven't felt it already they will okay they will uh the other thing is you can see the wands are actually perfectly aligned all right they're not going zigzag they're not just thrown in the air perfectly aligned things are going to start aligning for you gemini so uh again i have a sense that it's more like something's ending or you're coming out of something uh 
it, and it's it's lifting this weight off your shoulder that's how it feels this week okay now you did get the queen of pentacles in your challenge area it really is you know it's technically the challenge area it's a breakthrough area queen of pentacles she is the richest queen okay and she has the resources to build the world she wants to take care of the people that are in her kingdom in her family in her empire and so this week that may be a challenge for you it could be part of this change transformation some of y'all may be asking yourself okay now with this change that i want or what is happening what can i do to uh like how is this going to affect me uh you know taking care of myself financially or even uh my children or even my family um there could be changes in that dynamic all right there could be some changes with that but also there is a sense of some of y'all it's almost like you're not you don't really it's almost like you don't really know what's next okay so i really want you to just go with your intuition now really go with your intuition there's a lot of uh karmic energy uh with intuition i mean it allows you to make intuition is everything and you know i will eventually do a vis uh, video on intuition but it just makes you happier you make sounder judgments better decisions uh you make better uh karmic choices okay there's it, it's it's a big thing it's a big thing here uh but if you are asking a lot of these questions um if you feel these shifts changing in your world and it's just like or you uh, uh have a little bit of uncertainty about your world moving forward uh that could be something where you have all the answers inside you you just have to really trust your intuition just kind of like unlayer all any like low frequency energies like self-doubt or whatnot the other message that's coming through is there could be someone that may be leaving you uh in some sort of like support system kind of way uh so keep that in mind um and it's just navigating now from from what happens with that but again uh you know that's if hey every gemini is different every gemini is different so everyone's going to resonate this is going to resonate with some of y'all some it may not now you did get the justice card okay uh in your crown so this is really great because if i if you think about your your reading for august your monthly reading well i don't want to spoil i i know a lot of y'all haven't read your monthly reading so i don't want to spoil it for you but uh that was a big player okay and so you got justice again and so justice is now coming up in your crown so you're seeking that justice but it's not just you know when to say justice it's more like in your life like that balance that you're seeking in your life you even see the scale in the judge's hand okay so a lot of y'all this is going to uh resonate with uh with relationships uh especially because the justice is ruled by libra okay libra is the uh uh, uh libra is the uh native ruler of the seventh house of partnerships and relationships also when you think about you know, the nodal shifts that happened last month uh, uh the south node moved into your fifth house right so it's um there's a sense of even some like relationships that are coming to an end okay especially with venus retrograde now the other thing is uh if that does not matter is if that's not a thing for you if you're like nope relationship is really good in both work and love in both areas this is just you wanting all the, your it's almost like you're in a good place like karmically like just keep that energy up because this is you now when the justice card comes up especially with looking at the rest of your spread it's more like okay this things are good uh i there's there's no like red flags at this point right it's just like keeping your karma balance and 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 just holding on to that okay everything is just like and karma is so important all right and and you know we could do a whole video on karma as well but i want you to know that there's a lot of uh the biggest thing is you're probably thinking this week or will probably think this week because of what's happening and like some shifts that are happening in your life a lot of y'all may be asking yourself am i doing the right thing okay uh also uh a lot of y'all i okay so i wanted to say that you know especially when this card comes up in the crown i want to make it clear 
every cause has an effect, right? Actions have consequences. So a lot of y'all may be thinking about that right now. Is this the right thing that I'm doing? Is this, or should I do this thing? Uh, but a message that's coming through is that, you know, equally so, uh, inaction have consequences as well. So really, um, when I say go with your intuition, go with your intuition, it looks like things are going to be great for you, okay? Things are going to be great. You just have some big questions this week. You did get the Ten of Wands in the root of your spread. So uh, very interesting, all right? Ten of Wands in the root of your spread. You've been working really hard, okay? It's like blood, sweat, and tears. Definitely, definitely working. Like to the point where it's it's like you can't be distracted at this point but i want you to always remember uh what you know is your heart still in it right is your heart still in it but again what i said earlier it feels like there's something ending for y'all okay and not in a bad way it's like just the end of a cycle uh very interesting because you know 10 is the end right of the suit one zero equals one new beginning so uh really really like it's almost like again just like it's it's i'm just getting like deja vu uh but basically things are going to start moving for you and the in your direction you know things are lining up for you all right everything's aligning for you this week uh to the point where uh you will have to get a little bit of rest and remember what i said going within having those intuitive insights really having those you know intuitive downloads uh connecting um you know intuitively spiritually going you know like uh, uh having those reflective meditative moments that is what this card is okay so um two things here one this card is also ruled by libra so you're getting two libra cards and so again libra is the native ruler of partnerships and relationships so it could have something to do with that also contracts in there i think i mentioned contracts there could be a contract that could be coming to an end uh remember i said this is like a sense of freedom this week so it could be opening up for something else that's new or you could be signing uh like or be presented a contract this week uh for you to you know think about or whatnot but either way you ha it, it, it's saying that uh reflecting will be really good but also recovering because it could be a tough week with with you putting a lot of energy into things okay with you putting a lot of uh like there's so much output on your end all right uh the other thing that i was gonna say speaking of alignment with the eight of wands and just how everything is uh going with your with your spread here especially with your with the justice card in your crown again you see the scale in her hand just all that balance even the card itself is just very very symmetrical now i want you to look at the three swords here okay the three swords on the wall look at what they're where they're pointing the heart chakra the throat chakra the crown chakra okay so having these moments is going to be really good for you opening up your chakras having that alignment all right so i do i actually love your spread this week okay i love your spread um there uh a sense of something coming to an end for something new and it's almost like you may need this time to just like really whoo, you know be cool be cool and, and and take it easy because things may start changing really fast um so let's actually let's let's see what's let's see look at your stuff let's see what's going on there all right uh gemini like i said earlier uh yeah you're good you're good <laughs> like i said earlier um oh wait no if if you like this reading it would be i always mess up my lines if you like this reading it would be great if you like subscribe leave comments um i love hearing from y'all and if you are a subscriber thanks so much for being here y'all are amazing i i really appreciate it i am truly grateful um so gemini you're you're good there is you're gonna have to uh efface a little bit of like uh when i say you're gonna need to go deep we're gonna need to go deep um to have these intuitive moments to trust yourself okay and moving forward now you did get the strength card all right so this is absolutely amazing there is a lot of uh i'm not gonna lie a lot of you uh remember this well, strength is ruled by Leo, okay? And so we are in Leo season. And remember what I said, we have a huge 
Kazemi, all right? And then if you want to consider the Lion's Gate as well. And then Venus squaring Uranus is also, that's a big thing because Venus is in Leo and it is retrograde. Uh, that same day, Mercury is trining uh, Jupiter, Mercury, your ruling planet. Now, both Uranus, Venus squaring Uranus, and Jupiter, Mercury trine Jupiter, both Uranus and Jupiter are in your 12th house, okay? The subconscious, intuition. So this is, again, a very, like, you going deep. I mean, this is finding that inner strength, finding that courage. Really also, uh, uh, it's almost like there's a part of you that really, it, it really is, like, there could be some sort of tug of war activity happening up here. Uh, but it's really, you just kind of like, in a sense that, you know, the woman here is taming the lion. It's kind of like taming that wild side of yours, taming that part of you that just wants to like really just go, uh, uh, uh like knowing the things that you shouldn't do, don't do it. Okay. This is finding that inner strength to to not do that you also remember you got justice in your crown okay remember what i said earlier all right uh, asking yourself am i doing the right thing uh is is what i what, why I'm gonna bring the right things actions have consequences uh inaction have consequences as well but really really tapping within okay that's where this uh she's pulling all her strength from you know the lion you know she's the, her and the lion the lion is that i mean it's it's synergetic okay it's 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 where do you find that source of strength gemini ask yourself that because that's where you want to tap into right now okay whether it's god or the universe or you know your your children your family wherever you find that source of strength find that source of strength this week okay it's going to be very helpful for you this is like it's all about that interaction you can see the lion is allowing her to to have this moment all right now Boom. You got the star. Um, you're good. You're good. You're absolutely good. Um, I don't even know what to... I mean, like, you're good. I'm going to point something out here, actually. Um, this kind of might blow your mind. <laughs> or maybe it won't I don't know um, so remember how I said uh, 8 is a significant number this week well you got the 8 of wands in the heart of your spread the star is 17 117 equals 8 and you got the strength card 8 you got 3 8's here but if you look across your cross with your past and your future, you got death, which is 13, one, three equals four. You got the four swords, four. Four and four is eight. If you're into numerology, that's all I'm saying, okay? This is a big, this is a big transition. Um, this is hope. This is faith. This is uh, 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 trusting uh, that the stars are aligning for you. I mean, this is that card, okay? You know, the star comes after the tower, so there's a lot of healing in this card as well. But uh, you do see all the uh, stars are eight-pointed, okay? I mean, it is really big for you this week. That is pretty crazy this is pretty crazy uh the, i'm not gonna lie this is really crazy now again uh how i said early from the beginning like this intuitive energy that's really strong uh going within all that deep sacred knowledge that you have inside all the answers that you have inside it's all in your intuition it's all there that's a big thing okay i want you to know that this card the star is ruled by aquarius and Aquarius happens to be in your ninth house of spirituality. I mean, you are, this is kind of a rare 
very rare reading this is uh but this is you know the star came in your external factors area so it's almost like your hopes and wishes are starting to like everything is aligning for them to come true now all right again if you want to think about the nodal shifts which i talked more about it you know uh last month which was a big thing it's happening for the next year and a half i mean the north node your destiny your calling i mean that moved into your 11th house in aries the 11th house is your hopes and wishes so think of this as like fueling everything i mean you have the stars aligning for you and you have the wands aligning for you uh, you're you're good but you got the moon okay uh two things here um the moon is intuition okay so again that in into it it really is you're going on a deep level this week and it's good it's actually really good like i said you really want to be in touch with your intuition uh there is a part of you that um still may have a little like uh low frequency energies about your future like what is going to happen like you don't have uh, you some of y'all may feel like Y'all don't have a lot of clarity around that, but again, you'll be fine. I mean, you're gonna be fine. So, when you have those energy, when you have those, you know, like when you have anxiety or fear about the future or whatnot, um, it really, really blocks your intuition. Okay, you never want to have fear or anxiety or stress or any of that uh, control your, you know, uh, uh, your life or 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 your even your future right it's okay to feel those feelings i mean we're all human beings right we were built with those feelings for a reason but uh don't get stuck in them okay let them use them to empower you to move forward i mean you are that little crayfish there right you are that little crayfish you gotta go to the ocean you gotta cross those towers. you gotta go between those towers all right so keep that in mind um, the other thing that I was going to say is that we do have a full moon in Pisces at the end of the month. This card is ruled by Pisces. Remember Saturn in Pisces and the full moon in Pisces, both in your 10th house. So a lot of this may resonate for career for a lot of y'all. Okay. Or, you know, even just, uh, you know, uh, the way that you're perceived, all right. Uh, the way that you're perceived or even honors that you're going for achievements, uh, recognition, but, uh, just trust your intuition everything you're saying trust your intuition and things are going to happen really fast for you and then finally in your final outcome you did get the seven of swords so it is time to 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 really really go within uh don't uh basically well two things here um you because this is a week where there may be some prizes because uranus is at play regarding like relationships partnerships love romance even yourself like creativity self-expression all all of those aspects there could be some yeah there could be something in your external world where you may find out secrets or learn something and that's your breakthrough that's your breakthrough it's like okay now i gotta break free from this uh because that's not cool all right uh second thing but it, the second thing but the most uh, biggest message that is, is coming through is that face all your truths right now face all your truths okay don't hide from anything don't hide uh it's a good good week to get in touch with your shadow self uh be comfortable with that but it's also really just uh really facing everything that you have to face if there are any fears face them ask yourself why do i fear this and then once you get to the root of it remember you're going really deep this week <laughs> once you get to the root of it you'll be fine you'll be fine because you found the source and now you can you know tackle it but uh it really is all about moving forward okay um what's really interesting again is like we are in a month of with a lot of retrogrades and especially venus retrograde is the biggest one right the biggest one and so there are moments where you could be thinking about the past or looking back to the past or the past coming up to face you in some way. It could be people from your past that's coming back or whatnot. But, you know, at the end of the day, you do see that he is looking back. But we want you to move forward. We want you to look forward. And we don't want you to be afraid of looking forward because everything is aligning for you. Every, you're, going through a, you're going through a major change. Uh, 
everything is i mean you have the stars aligning for you again the wands aligning for you you're already going through some transformation this week but you're good you're absolutely good you have the four of swords in your future have that moment to like meditate and uh this even just gives me indication that something may be coming to an end uh that some of y'all may find unfavorable uh, again, it is a week of surprises. Some of y'all may already see it coming, know that something's coming. And so you may have to like just recover from that. But even still, just you're good. I mean, remember all the eights and then uh, you have the eight of ones and the heart of your spread. Like things are going to be moving fast for you. And it's a very auspicious, like enthusiastic. Remember, ones are so invigorating and lively i mean this is really great and you got this star fueling everything behind the scenes all right making everything you know going toward your hopes and wishes so uh really i mean you're good just face all your truths don't hide from anything that you know that you have to face okay remember actions have consequences but so do in actions all right so gemini thanks so much for tuning in again if you like this reading would be great if you like subscribe leave comments i love hearing from you if you are a subscriber y'all are amazing next week actually you know what's really funny is this is really ramping up to what's happening next week it's that new moon in leo all right new moon in leo new beginnings all right so uh gemini thanks so much i will see you next week all right bye bye